Yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask then. All right, let's go to Pianza Village. So the first question is from uh, Chai Kitty, who asks, how to get consistent water slides on the bridge at the beginning of Pianta Village, including other starting positions on episode five and six? Uh, this is a good question. The bridge water slide, it saves like an ep a second every time you do it. So it adds up to quite a bit of time uh, throughout the entirety of the level. So let's do the normal case, which is what you do in Pianta 1, 2, 4, and 7. Uh, I'll go into Pianta 1 in order to demonstrate that. So, uh, oh, this is Noki. <laughs> I forgot the level order is different on these codes. Okay. Um, I've thought about that, Mouse Cop, but I didn't come up with a solution before this first stream. I might in the future. Um, okay. So... What you want to do here is when you fall into the level, you hold R. You don't hold it all the way, but you just hold it so that he sprays. Like the same you would do when walking and spraying. And then as soon as you see water appear on the... Uh, you also hold forward, I should add. And then as soon as you see water appear, like right there on the bridge, you do a, you press A and B. You jump dive. And that's what it looks like. And then you need to do that, the hover, in order to not clip through the bridge. So, um, the bridge is like segmented. So if you, uh, if you just, like, do this, if I can get a freaking... <laughs> Apparently I can. Yeah, if you just do this, see, you, you go through the bridge. Uh, you don't want that, because then you'll die, or you'll have to go on these mushrooms. So you need to switch to the hover nozzle once you're actually sliding on the bridge. And you need to hold R, and then you'll hover like that and then the optimal thing to do is as soon as you hover you let go of r and then you do a double jump uh into either a triple jump or into a dive and then you do like a slide at the top so let's go through those scenarios okay so you hold r and forward at the start as soon as you see water on the bridge you jump dive like that and then you... Oh, I messed it up. But yeah, that's fine, see? Because I didn't fall through, and it still saves time if you do it like that. It's just a little bit slower, so it's not ideal. So let's try and get the triple jump now. I'll actually show you what I do for each level. So for this level, I do the triple jump. I do this, and then depending on where the chomp's going, I adjust. But yeah, that's what I do for Pianta 1. Then for Pianta 2, it's a very similar thing. Um, let me show that. I do the triple jump, and I hover so that I land in front of Piantissimo. I messed it up again. <laughs> the timing for that is kind of weird. I don't have a visual cue for it, personally. I don't know if other players do. I just kind of wing it. Okay, like that. Oh, hey, the text code got reset somehow. That's strange. I pour some water. So that's what I do on Pianta 2. And then uh, Pianta 4 is unique because you want to do the... Uh, the movement under the tree, and I'll be covering that in a minute, because people have asked about Pianta 4. But yeah, here you do the double jump, and then a dive, and then you go over here. Uh, for the optimal movement. Oh, I'm actually not in Pianta 4. <laughs> Forgot to change levels, but that's fine. And that's the movement you do for Pianta 4. Alright, so those are the normal bridge water slides. Those are the easy ones. Uh, I did not want to talk to him. <laughs> Enjoy my water, I will. Oh, and nice, JMR. It's good that you got the code set up. They're really useful. 
Um, okay, so now the special cases are Pianta 5 and Pianta 6. In Pianta 5, Mario spawns... <clears throat> sorry. Mario spawns in a different position. So you have to do a different setup for the Bridgewater slide. Uh, what I do is I hold R and forward again, but... You see how there's like this hill? As soon as Mario starts moving down the hill, I jump dive. And of course it's not gonna work now, but... Yeah. So that's what I do. Let me try and do it from the start. And then I, I actually, after I get the double jump, I adjust left. Like this. Actually, you can see I'm already kind of water sliding to the left when I'm on the bridge. But yeah, I do that so that I can get to down there really fast. So let me show that off one more time. Well, you see the thing, Mouse Cop, about putting the Google Doc link in the title is that it doesn't really pertain to this stream. Because if you submit questions now, I'm not going to answer them until next time. So that's why I think it's better to just put the command in the title. The link to the paste bin. I could maybe put the paste bin link in the title, but man. Oh wow, I didn't get it that time. Heck. One more, and then I'll show Pianta 6. Okay, I think I'm jumping too late. You need to jump dive, like, right when he starts walking down that hill. Otherwise you don't get it. Really? Maybe I'm turning left too early, I don't know. <laughs> this is always, like, dumb. This is stuff that I'm consistent at when I do it in runs. Okay, that was definitely too early. No, that's not consistent, Mousecop. Okay, there we go. I actually- I made this setup myself. I don't know if anyone does it other than me. But, uh, if you try to do a hover slide here, it's not consistent, and I'll show you. Hover sliding here, uh... Okay, see, that time I got it, but I'll try it a few more times, and you'll see that sometimes it just won't work. See? That time the bridge ate it, and as far as I know, that's basically random, and there's no way to prevent it from happening. So that's why I do the setup that I do. I think it's a lot better and more consistent. Even though it is slower, obviously, like, you're giving up some speed for that consistency. Oh wow, we're up high. <laughs> Alright, let's check out Pianta 6. I'm not complaining about being consistent in runs, I'm complaining about being inconsistent when I'm not doing runs. Okay, so for this guy, it's kind of the same story, you want to hold forward an R. But then, as soon as Mario kind of starts walking straight towards the bridge, you do a jump, and then you wait a little bit, and you dive. And you want to kind of dive on the second half of the first plank of the bridge. It's kind of hard to explain. But, like that. And then you can do whatever your heart desires. So, let me try that again. This one is kind of tricky, because the way you do the jump dive is uh, important. You can't just press A and B at the same time. Because if you do that, this will happen. You'll overshoot. So it needs to be A and then B. But yeah, if you do too short of a jump dive, then... This will happen. <laughs> so, like, you need to hit a sweet spot, like, right in the middle. Should be right this. Yeah. Oh, okay. That can still happen. That means that I messed up. 
I don't know exactly what I messed up. But yeah, this one is undoubtedly the hardest one. To be consistent with that. There we go. <laughs> Dude, nice. Oh yeah. That's it for Bridgewater Slides. Uh, the one on Pianta 7 is the same as in... I guess I didn't show off what I do there. So I guess I'll show that off. Uh, for the Pianta 7, for the normal quick kill, it's kind of similar to Pianta 4, except you don't walk off the bridge. Just do this. It's pretty straightforward. You just dive out of the double jump. Then you jump up here and do the quick kill. Nothing special about it. Alright, well, I'm I'm pretty sure that there's not really anything else to say about uh, the bridge slides, because there's really not that much to them. It's just a matter of knowing the inputs and then practicing. <laughs> 